the Meredith Show. Today is a very exciting day because my client and friend, Christy Corwin, who has been a client now for a long time, and I am also thrilled to share your shine because you're not only an amazing designer, but creator and executive producer of an upcoming untold Hollywood legendary story about her grandfather. Russell Garcia. Welcome, Christy, to The Meredith Show. Oh, this is really exciting. I'm so glad to be here and uh, to spend time with you. And it's always, always wonderful. To I was just going to say, Jinx, it's <laughs> always a joy to be with you. And Thank I'm you. really, really excited to share a little bit about your grandfather. So you and I actually met a few years ago, but we've been working together for a long time to get yes. the word out about your grandfather. Let's mm -hmm. tell the world a little bit about his amazing background and why you're so passionate about sharing mm -hmm. his story. Well, uh, he lived a very, very extraordinary life. Um, a musician, composer, arranger, conductor for Hollywood and all over the world, Europe. Um, he traveled Russia, Beijing, China. Um, he was the go-to guy in Hollywood for quite a few years, at least 15 to, to 30 years in um, working at Universal and MGM and Disney and Warner Brothers. And, and leading the music there for those at home watching. So a true legend, but yeah. like many people, and I never knew this in Hollywood, he did not always take the credit for his work because he actually produced some super famous pieces. Tell us about those. Yes, he was oftentimes a ghostwriter, is called a ghostwriter, where they would hire him to write the music but you didn't necessarily know it was him. And he did this for, for many, many, many people like Judy Garland and Sammy Davis and, and the list goes on and on. Louis Armstrong, Louis she's Armstrong. holding back on us. The <laughs> legends, it's yeah. so cool. And yeah. when you shared a little bit about his life, his legacy is also one of a humanitarian because he literally sold everything at the height of his career. If you've ever taken a Hollywood tour, you know your grandparents' famous home is called the Rainbow House in Hollywood, and they still look at it to this day. But he gave it all up, and tell us why. Yeah, at the age of 50, uh, they sold everything at the height of his career, learned navigation quickly. My grandmother didn't even know how to swim. And they uh, bought a trimaran and sailed the South Pacific for six years, teaching, wow. uh, promoting and teaching throughout all the islands uh, the oneness of humanity. And they had a little ukulele and they would sing all the songs about oneness. And it was a, it was a very extraordinary life. Yeah. What you didn't mention as well, and I know this because I had the pleasure of doing publicity for Christy, is a huge fun fact. Your grandfather actually founded what they call like the textbook for music. Tell us more about that. Yes, he wrote uh, the two books, the professional arranger and composer books one and two, that are being used in universities all around the world. Um, it's They've been translated into six or seven different languages and they are endorsed by Quincy Jones, John Williams, Bill Holman, and Henry Mancini as uh, one of the, and, and most composers and arrangers have learned from those books. And, and you know, she's not just saying that, like you have a major fan in Bruce, our videographer. <laughs> he was like awestruck when he learned who your grandfather was. And, yeah. And quite frankly, that's how I lucked out to have him because you work with him as well on your current project, which is his documentary, Letting His Life Story Be Told Now, because it's never too late, right? That's right. That's right. And uh, yeah, Bruce and Keith have been magnificent, and I'm so glad that uh, they're able to, to be here for you as well. And we are, uh, I've been holding interviews with a lot of the music luminaries, um, and sh them sharing their stories about Russ and my grandfather Russ. And it's just been absolutely amazing to hear some of the stories or the inspirations coming from these um, very well-known musicians or composers. Or, and um, it's just been really, really a magnificent thing. And we're, we're in the process of uh, some people looking over our presentation, our wonderful media kit that you helped us with. Um, and uh, we're very excited to get this documentary produced. 
So Well, it was very exciting when you came to me, Christy, just creating a vision for how you would actually put together a documentary and get picked up and partnered, which I know is the mission. So anybody out there watching is very excited about music and would love to sink their teeth into what's going to be an absolutely extraordinary documentary. I mean, every time you share with me a little bit more about your grandfather, his life and legacy are fascinating. And you have something really cool in the works with the Hollywood Bowl, so let's tell the world about that. Yes, that's very, very exciting too. Um, I have been in contact with the Hollywood Bowl and the LA Philharmonic about doing a concert there next year. Um, it'll be one of two, it looks like it'll be one of two options to begin. Uh, we may do a movie night with the Time Machine movie from 1960, the George Powell movie from 1960, which uh, my grandfather Russ did the music score for that movie. And it would be in conjunction with the LA Philharmonic at the Hollywood Bowl, so that's really exciting. Um, or we may end up doing a tribute concert to Russ, and then we would also want to honor one or two other uh, luminary composer arrangers as well on the same evening and it would be an evening of tribute you know a tribute or memory of two or three different composer arrangers in in addition to Russ so um, very very exciting we're, super exciting yes. and I like to say we're all about the shine in the Meredith show and what I think is really interesting about you Christy is that's pretty much your whole life's mission you help design and make people and things and products look good and placement and literally sharing the story of your grandfather. I mean, there are many things we can dedicate ourselves to, but his is unbelievably, unbelievably inspirational. What inspired you to really spend your life's work working to not only further his legacy, but become a designer? Uh, well, in, I went. I graduated from the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and later on, down you know, years later, uh, in 1999, I ended up taking uh, over this woman's display and design company. She wanted to retire and move to an island in Greece, and I took over her business and grew it to be two to three times as big, and that was designing for retail stores and window displays and those kiosks that you see in the mall. And then uh, in my grandfather passed away at the age of 95 in 2011. And it was after that, I think a couple years later, 2013, my grandmother had asked me if I would be interested in working together with her to carry on their music uh, legacy, my grandfather's music legacy, as well as their humanitarian legacy and what an honor that was. So I began to work with her. There was five things that my grandfather asked her to complete after he passed away and she still had a few of those things left to do so I jumped in and helped her. Uh, I right away formed the nonprofit Build a Better World Foundation as well as the corporation Build a Better World Productions which is the name that Russ always used for his music but he never really officially had a, an official corporation. So we had our first concert, fundraising concert, and we honored some music uh, professionals and we feature uh, young up and coming music professionals as well that get to perform. And then we uh, feature three nonprofit organizations and the proceeds from the concert help those, those nonprofits. And so it was just amazing how uh, being a designer, I could just jump in and start now producing concerts and events and then eventually in 2019 my grandparents musical that they wrote, The Unquenchable Flame, and to produce that, you know, it's amazing how versatile we can be and not realize it. And we can be more than just, we can be good at more than just one thing, you know? Well, and what I love about that is the message for you watching at home yeah. is like, don't second guess your shine. Like if you have a gift, gift, it can be used for many things in many ways. And I love that you're all in and really, really committed, not only to your grandfather's legacy, but really to inspiring so many other people in the world. Because his story to me is the utmost inspiration for running down a dream, switching gears and not being afraid to switch gears, 
and then moving full speed ahead in what feels right, not necessarily where the money is, but the money actually rolled in anyway when I understand your grandfather walked away from Hollywood because of all the royalties, right? For this music, that's like what lived on beyond his years and still does, right? Yes, it, it, it does. And, uh, and from Europe as well. And um, what we're doing, the work that we're doing is, is sort of keeping this music and the, the humanitarian spirit alive. And uh, there is a producer that actually worked with my grandfather, Russ, uh, in 1980, 20 years after the original Time Machine movie was released. And they went to Europe and hired a 60-piece orchestra and re-recorded all of the, the music from the Time Machine movie. And just recently, a couple of months ago, he has uh, released a collector's edition CD with this music and it features a beautifully illustrated 23 page interview with both George Powell and my grandfather Russ Garcia throughout the 23 pages and so we're very excited in maybe linking that together with the Hollywood Bowl concert and, and releasing this CD um, as well so it's, it's a very exciting time and um, I just keep being innovative and trying to find the ways where we can keep this music alive while benefiting uh, many other people as well. Honoring music luminaries, featuring up and coming youth music professionals, sort of passing the baton down to the next generation of music professionals and so and then having it benefit many nonprofits and so it's so rewarding and so exhilarating for me to do this work to be involved because I love when we can benefit for the highest good of all for the planet for people for youth for you know so. uh, that's like the warm the warmest of warm fuzzies yeah. and for those of you watching at home I know you know somebody out there doing something amazing and what we ask is not to keep it to yourself. Take a little time and share the love. And if you've been as inspired as I have by Christy's story, we'd love it if you shared this segment. Thank you so much, Christy, for being on the Marriott thank Show. You. And thank, thank you. Thank you at home for watching. And thank make you. sure you take a little time to shine. If you liked today's episode, we hope that you'll like us on Facebook and stay connected. You can find us under The Meredith Show there and on Instagram under The Meredith Show. And if you or somebody you know you think will make a great guest, please email us at meredith at themeredithshow.com and my team will set up an appointment right away.